Hi guys, it's me again. And I just wanna show a quick tip today. First of all, let's show that I've got a single HTML page here and it's including one JS script, which is this one here. And in this script, I've got an orders array up here, which contains three other arrays and inside those arrays are food orders. So then down here, I'm looping through the, first of all, the outer array orders. And for each array inside that, I'm taking the individual order. So I'm taking the individual array and then I'm looping through the contents of those arrays and I'm just simply console logging the food item. So if I run this in the browser here, you can see, you know, steak, burger, chips, it's going all the way through to crumpets, which is cool. So it's jumping to this one here. Now, say if I wanted to check for if the choice is cheese, and if it is, I want to break. So if I say that and rerun that here, okay, so I'm getting cheese now, and then it's breaking, so it's not going onto salmon, it's jumping straight to rabbit. But what if I wanted to say, okay, so cheese is something really bad. If we get cheese, then let's stop looping through everything so we don't want to even check uh, what the other orders are. So in that case, you'd need to be able to break from not only this internal loop here, but from the outer loop, which is this one up here. Now to do that, what you can do is you can give this one a label so we can say, this is the orders loop like this and then we should be able to say break from the orders loop so let's give this a go <laughs> so now as you can see we have stopped at the cheese so we've hit this item here we haven't got salmon we haven't got rabbit and we haven't got crumpets. So we've hit the cheese. We've broken from the outer loop, the orders loop, this one here. And that's it, game over. Thanks for watching.